Today we will be discussing. Just watch. This video is about ectopic pregnancy. I will cover symptoms, diagnosis, and treatment. If you want to support this channel and see more videos like this, please like and subscribe, hit the bell button to be notified. Let's get back to our subject. Ectopic pregnancy is defined as pregnancy outside the uterine cavity. It can be in the tube, the ovary, in the cervix, in the wall of the uterus, or anywhere in the abdominal or pelvic cavity. The most common place, however, is the ampullary part of the tube. Any woman in the reproductive age group who complains of pelvic pain and possibly some bleeding who has a positive pregnancy test should be considered to have an ectopic pregnancy until proven otherwise. The first step in the management is to obtain an ultrasound, preferably vaginal. If the ultrasound shows an ectopic pregnancy, treat as such. If it shows an intrauterine pregnancy, the patient might be having a miscarriage or discomfort of pregnancy. However, sometimes the ultrasound scan doesn't show an ectopic or an intrauterine pregnancy. This is called pregnancy of unknown location. The next step is to obtain an HCG level in the blood and then repeat in 48 hours. This can only be done if the patient is clinically stable. If the level is increased by roughly 50% in 2 days, then the pregnancy is most likely an early intrauterine and a repeat ultrasound scan is indicated in about a week. The patient should be counseled to return if she has severe pain or any other concern. If the level does not increase by 50%, that's called a suboptimal rise. Then the diagnosis could be either an ectopic pregnancy or a miscarriage. Sometimes the patient desires to repeat the ultrasound scan for confirmation. However, acceptable steps are either laparoscopy to diagnose and treat an ectopic pregnancy or treatment with methotrexate. The aforementioned steps can only be used if the patient is clinically stable. If the patient is not hemodynamically stable, they need to be taken to the OR for an emergency laparotomy. Methotrexate is a chemotherapeutic drug that interferes with the metabolism of folate. It is contraindicated if the patient has an active pulmonary disease, liver disease, gastric ulcer, kidney disease, if the patient is breastfeeding or has bone marrow suppression and of course in the presence of an intrauterine pregnancy. Relative contraindications mean that methotrexate can still be used but there is a high chance of failure. Those include an initial HCG level of more than 4000 the presence of a fetal heartbeat and a size of an ectopic pregnancy that's more than 4 cm. Refusal to accept blood transfusion is also a relative contraindication to methotrexate. Surgical treatment of a stable patient includes laparoscopy and salpingectomy, that means removal of the tube that contains the ectopic, or salpingostomy can be attempted in which an incision is made in the tube and the pregnancy is removed. This should only be considered in the case of a damaged contralateral tube. It's important to see patients after surgical treatment and also to repeat the HCG level after methotrexate. After treatment with methotrexate, HCG level should be repeated between day 4 to day 7. Ideally, the level should decrease by 15% or more, in which case repeat weekly HCG until it reaches zero. If it decreases by less than 15%, then another dose of methotrexate is recommended. If the HCG level is persistently high, then surgical management is indicated. If you want to support this channel, please like and subscribe. If you have any question or any suggestions, please leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to address them. Guys, my commitment to you is to provide you with the latest information based on the most recent American College of Obstetrics and Gynecology guidelines. Thank you and see you next time.